the brain's job is to build an internal model of the external world. It's always trying to figure out what's going on in the external world. And as you get older, you get better at figuring out that world. You say, OK, yeah, I've kind of got it. I know you know, the spectrum of personality types. I know how to do my job, show up to work every day. And I'm pretty good at this. And so, so you're not really challenging yourself after a while. Um, so you change less and less as you get older. And um, I think actually maybe Randall and I will talk afterwards about, uh, about one silver lining of the pandemic that I see. But we'll, we'll come to that later. But, but the point is, yeah, just the way to keep a healthy brain is to challenge yourself. And I just want to say, you know, in a sense, this isn't a new idea because Leonardo da Vinci always talked about questioning everything in the outside world. But he was also smart enough to challenge, question everything on the inside world. So, Whenever he was trying to solve something, whatever his first answer was, he wouldn't trust it. He'd say, OK, that's the first answer. That's probably sort of a path of least resistance. I'm going to force myself to think of a second answer, a third, a fourth, a fifth, a sixth, that kind of thing. And so the, the main lesson is that the massive machinery inside, you know, under the hood there, wants to get away with as little as possible as often as possible. And your job is to question everything, is to challenge everything, is to take on new tasks. So I'm going to give you a few quick suggestions for how to do this before we close, which is who, who's wearing a watch or a Fitbit? OK, I want you to take it off and put it on your other wrist. I want you to wear your watch on your other wrist because you're so used to looking at your watch like that. And if you switch it, your brain has to do a little bit of extra work to say, oh, there's something new in my otherwise stable world and I have to do something new here. If you're not wearing a watch, I want you to brush your teeth with your other hand tonight. So it's not that hard. You go home, you just brush your teeth with the other hand. Um, you know, you got to be like an athlete with this stuff. So one of the things I try to do every day is drive a different route home from work um, so that you're constantly seeing something new. Because otherwise, you guys have probably noticed the first time that you ever drove to work, it seemed like, wow, this took a long time. And then after a long time of doing it, it's sort of instant. It feels like you get to work instantly. Why? Because you're an unconscious zombie, and you're just driving, and your brain already knows what to expect. And so if you drive a different route home every day, I'm not, I'm not telling you how to live longer. I'm telling you here how to make it seem as though you lived longer. <laughs> you'll enjoy life more. You'll get more out of it. You'll get more subjective time out of it. So the main thing is seek novelty. So you know, I'd like to challenge all of us to, you know, to go about everything in a new way. Seek novelty. Avoid dogma. Be full of awe and wonder. Celebrate possibility. It's the best thing you can do for a brain that is built to constantly be on the path of change.